Galaxy Note 3 comes out, I was like, man, this piece of junk. I didn't even want it anymore. Or you drop it. Right, right, right. Or I dro then I dropped it. I right. dropped it out of anger because it was old. Right. You know, Delivered and, and, like, and, and that's the thing is that, and, and it's scary because it's mainly our generation, because the older generation would buy something, keep it, For but years. it would be built differently. Like you bought a blender back then, justified. and it was fine for twenty years. You right. buy a blender now. As long as the hamster like didn't die, the blender still worked. As long as the hamster didn't die. Right, right, right. Well, something had to move it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of childhood? We don't even want to know. We don't yeah, want to know. We're kind of like the Flintstones growing up. So. Wait, what? did you? Yo, what was in this coffee? Because coffee, coffee is a herb. You know, like the grains are herb. But seriously, you know, it's satisfaction. I mean, I, obviously that's what we're all chasing. You know, we, right. we all want it. Right, right. But I, I think about Christ when he said, uh, you can gain the whole world and still lose your soul. Your soul yeah. And I'm like, that is the scariest thing in the world because people have conquered the world before. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. Alexander the Great. And it's oh, like, yeah. What, and God's like, yeah, that doesn't impress me. Yeah. And you know I, what I mean? The, the other thing that's crazy, too, is it's like, the enemy's using so many different tactics to get to humans. Um, you know, he uses fear, he uses distraction, and I really feel like finding satisfaction or seeking satisfaction is one of those tools that he uses against us. Yeah. Because Jesus, later on, in that very, like, right there, like, in that same uh, conversation says, uh, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And it's like we will literally do anything to fulfill the satisfactions of our bodies, of our flesh, of our minds, what we think we need, our dreams, our desires. We'll do anything for that. I mean, there's people who will step on other people's toes, who will backstab. Yeah. I mean, it really gets ugly when it comes to satisfying this flesh. It's very <laughs> ugly. You know what I mean? When you actually get behind, like you betray your, you betray people that you love. Yeah, you really will. I mean, because you're not thinking about them. It's about being satisfied. It's about being fulfilled in your body, and that's what's dangerous because you're not thinking about other people. What? And you know, the scariest part is that we'll also betray ourselves. We do betray, betray ourselves. ourselves. You know what I mean? That's how I got back. <laughs> Yo, no, I'm not even joking. I just want another cheeseburger. That's what and I'm then, saying. <laughs> it's like one more bite, and I don't care what it does to your body. Right. It's like one more bite, and I mean, you 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 show you throw me some salad, which I need, and some pizza. I guarantee you the salad will go bad. Right. <laughs> That's how I used to be, or man. He was like, when I look like you, Duke, I used to be the same way. Right. <laughs> and then he said, right. <laughs> <laughs> I I used to do stuff that you know just didn't really make me care about anything you know what I mean so no but seriously satisfaction is a tricky thing because we know that God wants us to be happy oh yeah He wants us to to uh, uh you know first of all it, like to, just to let everyone know this whole fallen nature idea was not God's idea the Garden of Eden the word Eden actually means delight yeah or pleasure so yeah God's plan from the beginning was for that we were just in bliss. Yeah, yeah. We messed that we up. We messed that up. You know, and I'd be like, God, God, why don't you just do a do-over or something like that? Right, right, right. Like, I'm okay, I'm right. like that didn't happen. Right, clean slate. Or he's all-knowing, so he knew it was gonna happen to begin with. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so, so he caught him off guard. Come like, on, man, it's like, come on, God. But I, you know what, but the thing is, God is such a God of principle right. that he lets things play out. We're the ones that run from consequences. Right. He, God's nature is to let things play out. Right. You well, because like, he's always got a provision for it. Like, he knew Jesus was the there. Dude, you so like, you I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, look, I forget sometimes. <laughs> Here, you can take the camera. This yeah. is what wives are for, Guess, right? Guess, Proverbs 31. <laughs> just not seriously. Like, I, I realize that, like, we do something wrong, or we just don't want the spanking. We just right. don't want the, like, you know, and, but, with God, he's like, no, let it play out, man. You're gonna die soon. Right. <laughs> you know, like, and it's like, wow, because I believe that God's more tied into honor than yeah. we are. Yeah. Because we'll, I mean, like, I, I, I always have this saying where I'm like, dude, don't be the one of those people that'll lie to the grave. There, you know, there's certain things that we're just willing to lie to the grave with. Right. And it's all to cover up this image of ourselves or this image of what we want people to see. And, and, and the scary part about that is in Revelation 22, he talks about the people that are not going to enter into heaven. And yeah. one of the things he says is those that love and make a lie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they actually ordain lies to exist. Right. And most people don't realize that lies can become real things. 
Right. And you live a lie. They really do. I mean, you can tell yourself something enough to where you actually believe it. Like, people do that, and like, you'll see it in like court cases and stuff like that. Like, the lawyer will tell you, no, this actually happened. He did this to you, or she did this, or whatever. Right. And the person's like, you know what? He did, or she did, you know what I mean? Right. And all of a sudden, it's like, it's like, dude, that's, that wasn't true from the get go. Yeah. Like, it was just spoken into existence, and that just goes back into the power of the yeah. song. Like, even when he talks about, even when he talks about, uh, divorce and all that stuff yeah we've made up a lot of things that are going on and and this is going to stir up a lot of people but even homosexual marriage yeah. and, and homosexuality like if things can become be wrong for so long that that's someone said why did you, did you just say it wrong journey <laughs> and it even comes to a point where we start finding things to justify it like I've said, I, I remember I used to do some stuff to where I would, I would look at the Bible and say, well, it's just this, like, I can have a drink, Jesus made wine, like, you know what I mean, like, and just completely turn the word of God upside down, and it's like, one, I'm pissing God off, I'm really making him angry yeah. by doing that, but we'll find things to justify our unrighteousness. Well, that's simple, that, that's, that's, that's because of the fact that we're created in God's image, right. so we can create our own you know, garbage out of right. nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, our own justification. <laughs> Come easy. Like, like I can easily like I used to tell people, like, why does one plus one have to be two? And if you <laughs> eleven, because it is <laughs> exactly. It's two ones. That's eleven. Right. Or knife is spelled N I F E. Knife. Right. You know what I mean? That's knife. Can if when you add the K, it's knife. You know what I mean? like, why does it gotta be like? Why we gotta complicate? Like quip. <laughs> like the H comes after the W. Why do I <laughs> first? <laughs> yeah, and, and so I, I, you, you do watch people just make up their own rules mm -hmm. and stuff. I mean, and things like that. And then you, you want, you want to. First of all, when we're talking about satisfaction, you know, well, if you have a limited perspective yeah. or a, a reckless perspective of what satisfaction is, you feel like you can have anything you want oh, yeah. or do anything, mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily true. So I think maybe our society sends mixed messages. Uh, yeah. About what it is like, you know, like going to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Well, I mean, people like me go. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> and we and we try. And to we eat paid no eat. attention uh, to right. satiety. It's just yeah, like, oh, I'm full, but uh, it's free. It's free. I'm gonna keep eating. <laughs> so you telling me? I thought you eat your steak food. first, like eat the high priced items first. Right. Stick to meat like, and veggies. We did the health thing again. See, the, the, every <laughs> time. No, I, I said eat high ticket items first. I'm talking about Sorry. getting your money for <laughs> Right, see, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but but, but it's, it's the first. truth. It's the truth, though. I think we send mixed messages. Like, you know, uh, in, in America, we tell people that, you know, you can be anything you want. Well, that's true, but you, we've got to finish the sentence. Like, you can be everything you want if you work hard. Like, right. we always right. leave the other half off, you know, because we're big on cliches. Or well, even commercials like on TV, they have like really, really fine. Get the camera kids. on her, so she's talking. She's gonna turn it But now she doesn't want to talk. She tried to turn the screen around. Cause does it? Okay, whatever. Wow. Anyways, you tried to, but that I was just funny. Like this no, She's back on you now. You're talking. No. <laughs> It's like video but, camera tag. But but seriously, I, I think that I think that that's what happens in our society. We send these mixed messages. You were gonna say commercials have really fine print. So like it says like lease a no new car today for like 189 dollars a month. So everyone's like, oh that's so cool. I get a brand new car and only pay like less than 200 dollars. But at the bottom of the screen, there's like 0.5 font that says something that flashes across the screen, right, so you can't right, even read it. Right. Right. And then they get to say, well, we told you. Right. Oh, <laughs> like, actually, there was a disclaimer at the bottom. Well, and this is the thing about the devil. The devil will have you do stuff and then be like, what you listening to me for? Right. <laughs> you know what oh, yeah. yeah. Turn around and you're like, uh, right. Right. Like, you, you don't want to hear I was a liar. Right. Like, why'd you listen to me? Yeah, it's, it's that, your fault. It's that. But, but let me ask you this. Uh, when is the pursuit for satisfaction wrong? It's about your flesh. Yeah. I think, I think we have we have the wrong intentions at heart. When it's it's not about God anymore, it's about yeah. whatever ambition you're seeking. I mean, it could be it could be in anything. It could be in business. It could be in fitness. It could be shoot. It could be in laziness. Um, you know, you gotta you gotta know the difference between resting and when you are actually being lazy. Yeah. You know? And and then and then it's just listening to the word of God too, or listening to the voice of God in the moment. I mean, sometimes when I'm tired, you know, I don't want to get up and go anywhere, but. God is telling me, you know, now is the time to get up and go do something. And you get up and go do something. Right. Yeah, because I mean, you know, what's funny is that sometimes, uh, you know, that's how a lot of people miss opportunities 
because they're going either too much or not going enough. Yeah, yeah, right. Because, yeah. you know, find and, a happy and in 2 Timothy chapter 3, it talks about uh, these people that will seek pleasure and comfort more than the will of God. Right. You know what I mean? I think that's something we got to watch yeah, out for. Yeah. And also, I, I think one of the reasons why people are kind of turned off by the Bible is that it's brutally honest. Right. You know what I mean? It's brutally honest. Why? <laughs> why did you talking? <laughs> Well, she just turned all the cameras on me. Uh, <laughs> like, no. Because hearing a person and they don't. Oh, that's true too. But, but, so, no, we're good. Uh, I was just. <laughs> but <once laughs> you like a while. This, but because what the Bible is brutally honest, and and I think that uh, sometimes we're, we become a very soft generation and can't handle it. Yeah. Soft, and I, I think also too people get turned off because you know we 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 think we know scripture. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? And. and the fact of the matter is, a lot of scripture gets taken out of context. You know uh, that you know for years people thought money was the root of all evil. Yeah, you, you were hearing rap songs. The love of money. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Right, right, right. It's the love of money that's the root of all evil. And you have to look at the scripture. You have to look before that particular scripture. You have to look after and see what it's actually talking about. So then you're gonna have you know ministers coming up to you, bringing scripture to you, when that piece of scripture it doesn't even really apply. Well, and not only that, I think people don't want to hear. I think people don't want to. Hear, I, I don't think people want to hear scripture, dude. She she had it just on my gut. She had the and camera pointed. And he can see it. Right? She had the camera just pointed right at my stomach. It just looked like, and, and then it was moving. Then, then the stomach was just moving. Why he's like. <laughs> We can edit. It's All right. Edit no, but, but bro, I, I think I think we got. I'm glad you brought the scripture thing up because I don't think people want to hear scripture.